This video is about how to use the Partitioning Sets by Number tool. The inside white space starts with a set of 10 different things. The outside blue space has buttons to make changes. Click these arrows to increase or decrease the number of things in the whole set. Get ready to explore partitioning this set by clicking these arrows. The tool is ready to find one-fourth of a set of eight things. Can these eight things be partitioned into four subsets of equal size? Think, then when ready, click Go. Select any subset. This subset has two things, a star and a happy face. Click again to deselect the subset. This subset has two stars. Subsets might have different things, but each subset has the same number of things. The picture shows a set of eight things equally partitioned into fours, that is four subsets of equal size. The highlighted subset shows that one-fourth of eight things is two things. Now let's explore this set some more. Change the number of partitions here. Now we are ready to explore whether a set of eight things can be equally partitioned into three subsets of equal size. Think, then when ready, click Go. The picture shows that a set of eight things cannot be equally partitioned into three subsets of equal size. You can explore partitioning with different sets. You can change the number of things in a set in four different ways. Here, 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 or here. Change the type of things. Exclude stars. Exclude people and pick a color. Change the settings. Make all the faces the same size and make the animations a bit slower. Close the settings box. Now click this scramble button to restart with your new set. If you want to undo all the changes, click Reset. When the whole set is in the white space like this, you can move one thing at a time. Click, drag, and drop. And finally, go to the I button for more information or to download this tool.